Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Oop, where's it at? Uh, Satisfaction. To get this launcher, you will need the Bounty of Blood DLC, and the enemy you want to farm is Vordukin. So yeah, let's head over and get this rocket launcher. Alright, so what you want to do is head to the Blast Plains, and we're going to head to Vordukin right over here. So yeah, I'm going to head over and I'll meet you guys when I get there. Luckily, there is a safe station by the boss, so you don't have to run very far. But, you know, instead of turning this corner, there is a small, tiny time save you can do. So you spawn in, jump on the tent, jump to the rock, and mantle up. And you can cut that little corner there, saving a little bit of time. So we'll do one kill together. Run forward, and there he is. There's Vorducken. Freeze him up. And just like Turducken, you know, turkey, chicken, and duck all, you know, stuffed inside of each other. This guy's going to break apart into smaller enemies. So, third form. And a fourth one. And he's dead. And first run, we got it. Awesome. Alright, we have ourselves the satisfaction. Damage, pretty good. Accuracy handling, not the best. Reload time, average for a launcher. Fire rate, really slow. And mag size, 4. Red text is 30 minutes or less. Bonus weapon damage. Splash damage radius. Consumes 2 ammo per shot. Now, the one we got is times 5, but there is a times 4 variant. And that will consume 1 ammo per shot. Uh, and also, bonus projectile speed. Also, this launcher comes in all the elements, including the non-elemental form. Alright, for the launcher, it doesn't look much different from a purple Torg three-way launcher. So the weapon look itself doesn't really stand out that much. I really wish it had its own custom skin like most of the other items in this DLC. So, what does the launcher do? Well, there's really not anything crazy special about it, except for the fact that it has one rocket more than the purple counterpart. A purple Torg three-way launcher will have, you know, times three or times four. The satisfaction will always be times four or times five. Also, it seems to have a little bit more base damage too. It should be noted that this weapon does not have a secondary firing mode, so you cannot swap over to sticky rounds. Anyways, when you shoot the launcher, it's going to shoot four or five projectiles, depending on what kind you have, and it will stop and stick and then blow up. So you can see here, we're going to shoot Jack in the face, and it sits for a second, and then it blows up. Alright, so we're on Mayhem 10, here's the modifiers I have. Let's go ahead and push forward, go for this guy over here. And we're going to stick you in the face. One shot here. And you know, I did get the kill. Not bad. Now, as for a launcher, I feel like it should be a little bit higher on the damage for consuming two ammo per shot. But maybe that's just me. Oh, here we go. Launcher battle. Freeze you. Stick you in the face. Blow up. And that did like nothing. Oh, really? Okay, maybe I missed my shot. Nope, that was a crit too. Huh. Interesting, so my suspicions were right. This launcher is a little bit low on the base damage. So it took 7 shots in total to kill that guy. That was 14 rocket ammo. Not really worth it. Now, I was looking at the parts that I rolled on this launcher, and this is actually a perfect version of it. Uh, the base damage cannot roll any higher. Maybe we'll try fade away and see what happens then. Okay, now we're going to break fade away with our action skill and elements too. Let's see what happens. So right on the crit. That got the kill, but the base damage is still pretty low for a launcher. So right on the hand, let's see what happens. He broke fade away. That is sad damage. That is very sad damage. All right, final thoughts on the satisfaction. It is unsatisfying. Just like always, maybe it does work on non-mayhem mode, but out of all the legendary launchers in the game so far, this one might be on the bottom. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer because, you know, launchers are meant to be strong, but this one does not perform. Overall, this launcher is not very good, and it definitely needs a damage buff. So yeah, go ahead and pick it up for yourself. You might like it, or you might not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, and please be sure to leave a like, because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.